All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be installing the flex fuel kit. So this will pretty much be my first install on this car. I don't really install too much, but I feel like this shouldn't be too bad. And this will be the first performance modification, pretty much. I still need a tune, so I won't be running E85. But either way, it'll be good to... Uh, it'll save me some money if I install it myself for when I get my headers installed and all that so i figured might as well might as well do it try it doesn't look too bad i watched some youtube videos i'll probably still have to watch a few youtube videos to completely do it but seems pretty simple honestly so we're gonna get started i do have a 2019 camaro that i will show you once i get outside it's 2019 camaro ss i traded in my charger and yeah, it's pretty much stock, but not for long, I promise you that. Not for long. So, all right, guys, let's get started on this, and I will show you the install. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, guys, so this is the car right here. Looks pretty good. We added a splitter to it, putting the drag wheels on soon. This is my little wish kit. Cost me 25 bucks, has a bunch of stuff. Gets the job done. So... We will be installing the flex fuel kit. So first you gotta take off this. Take that off. Let's get this out. All right. Our little tool. All right, so first off, you take this clamp off. So for some reason, my GoPro did not record properly, which stinks. But what you do is you bring this under here, you'll hear a little sound and then you pull up. Then you add this elbow. This is the one that came with the kit right here. Bring that back here. And then you'll see the sensor. This is the sensor right here. Connects to one side and then the stock one connects to the other side. Very simple. Very, very simple. All right, and now we are, we run this, this wire from the sensor to right over here. We don't need that. All right, we're gonna get this. Got it, nice. Okay, so use some pliers. That is perfect, that's exactly how we want it. So now this is just from factory. So this T right here, one side. The EVAT, the other, the flex fuel EVAT goes in. And then this one just should plug in, just like that. Easy enough, kind of a pain, but it works. So now we gotta get the screw down here and take that off. $20, what is it? 10 mil. Yep. Little 10 mil. Get our $20 wish tools. anymore oh yeah there we go 
Do not lose this screw. I repeat, do not. While I'm here, you know, subscribe to the channel, like this video. I know this isn't the greatest install, but this is the first time I've ever done it. So, I would appreciate the support. We got a lot coming for this car. All right, put the ground on there, screw it back in. It's a long, that should be good. It's pretty tight. Now, pinning. So down here, that's what you pin. Down here, you take this off. The bottom one, All right, now you just lift it. Should come loose. If you got big hands, fat hands like me, this is not fun. But we did get it. Here it is. All right, so what you do is you lift these tabs up. There's one here, one on the other side. That should take the, the back panel off this. I think you're still stuck. All right, so it takes the back panel off. So, what I have read is this is one. Let's see. All right, so if you could see one there's number one right here. So all right here is one. And there's 32 in this row right here. So we're looking for 38. So what we got to do is we got to count 38. So if this is 32, this is 33. While you're 33, this red and black one. 34 is the green. 35 is the pin. 36 is the blue. 37 is the white. And 38 is the pin now since 38 is the pin you grab your needle nose pliers and you pull that out somehow almost almost yep got that we take that out now so like i said 33 is the red, 34 green, 35 pin, 36 blue, 37 white. Now 38 is where you pin this. All right guys, so we're almost done here. So you wanna kinda run the wire down here like it would be going uh, where the PCM is or where the plug goes you want to maybe run it through here probably be best now let's look so we know it's right there so it's the second row so the second row the little fold is facing okay so it's going like that so when we flip it yeah it's going out so you want the little fold to go out
not an easy thing. So you should hear a little click. Push that sucker in. All right, I think we're good. So, now that you pushed it in, it shouldn't be able to come out, nope. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna assemble it all. So, wherever, right here. Push that in. And honestly, I think that's it. Put back your covers. I mean, it's not the cleanest install, but really this is this is how it's done. Make sure this is hiding a little bit. Put your covers back on. And it's literally that easy, guys. That easy. All right, guys, as you can see, everything is back together. The car should be good to go. Now what you should do is get in the car and turn the car on, just right here. All right, guys, so we're gonna try starting the car right now. I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna be a rough start because of the fuel pressure. Sorry, that's pretty annoying, but we're gonna try it. Let's see. It started. And other than that, guys, you should be good to go. Uh, if, if I could do it, you could definitely do it because I don't really do installs and I, I just get frustrated really fast. So if I could do it, you could do it. Try not to pay a shop. But that's it guys subscribe to the channel like this video you guys know what to do hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry it's a little messy but have a good one guys